Beware of the shipping delays this holiday season. At least one third of FedEx Ground's delivery network is reportedly at risk of collapse ahead of the holiday rush. This as the company's contractors are facing soaring inflation, higher diesel prices, and FedEx Ground is allegedly expanding its own profit margins by withholding additional revenue from these small business owners. Joining me now, Root Consultant founder and president Spencer Patton. Root Consultant works to educate the owners of FedEx Ground and Amazon DSP logistics operations. Spencer, you're also the largest contractor for Roots with FedEx Ground with about 200 in 10 states. Tell us more about this issue and what the outcome might be for the customer. So what a lot of people don't know is that FedEx Ground actually contracts out 100% of their entire network. The person coming to your door wearing a FedEx uniform, driving a FedEx truck is not actually a FedEx Ground employee. There are 6,000 small business owners, people like me, that on average have 10 to 25 employees, and they're the ones that are actually delivering all of the packages across the United States. So my organization, we're one of the largest contractors to FedEx Ground in the United States, and really what I've been advocating and really making the public aware of is that we're in enormous financial distress. We've seen our fuel prices double in a year. We've seen our wage rates up, our vehicle costs up, and I'm sounding the alarm that the risk of network interruption in FedEx ground is as high as I've ever seen it. Nancy Tingler, jump in here. I knew that about FedEx ground because I had problems getting a package once and I had to drive to the head. I found out where they were located, the actual, the independent um, shipping company or transport company, and I showed up at their door mad. And so I was aware of this, but jump in here with Spencer. Yeah, well, thanks, Dagan. Um, Spencer, I, I know that you've called for the company to recognize the contractors as franchisees. Can you explain that a little bit, and what has the response been from FedEx management? So the model forever is that we have been contractors to FedEx Ground. There have been litigation and past explorations about whether us as contractors are actually employees, whether we could be classified as franchisees. The, the whole framework of what FedEx Ground has built their network upon is that we are contractors. There's many reasons why we as contractors make sense, but there's also questions about whether we could be classified as franchisees. Some of the beneficiaries of being a franchisee is the state and federal regulations that would protect the contracts that we have with FedEx Ground, because each of us, as 6,000 small business owners, we have a contract with FedEx, and that contract renews every 12 to 18 months. So the risk is that if we don't do exactly what FedEx Ground asks us to do, then FedEx Ground, being the $60 billion business, can say, sign this agreement, or we'll find somebody else that will. So as small business owners, we're just trying to get everybody's boxes delivered. We're the definition of an essential worker as mm -hmm. we've been going through COVID and all of these pieces that we're, we're just trying to find a way to restore the financial balance to the profitability that our business needs to have. In the short run, Spencer, though, what is FedEx doing? What are these kind of independent businesses doing to ensure that there isn't a delivery disruption? Our businesses are bleeding. I am working with thousands of contractors here in Vegas. More than half of all the contractors in the United States are coming for our annual expo that Route Consultant hosts. And we're talking about the real financial distress that we're under. And so we have eyes towards November 25th, Black Friday, to say FedEx Ground, please come and as I speak for my own independent business, I need financial help and some 6,000 other FedEx Ground contractors need the same. We've seen FedEx Ground in their most recent earnings report on June 23rd, FedEx highlighted a 30% increase to their margins as a result of passing through fuel surcharges to the U.S. consumer, but not passing through those same surcharges to contractors, the very ones consuming the fuel. Spencer, thanks for being here. Great to see you. Please come back. Spencer Patton. Thank you.